right, and here we are. Today is Saturday, August 11th, 2018. Heading on down to DC from Frederick. Tomorrow, Sunday, August 12th, 2018. Apparently, there's going to be a white supremacist rally here in D.C. Okay. And I will be there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there, all right. See, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. See, Charlottesville was a failed experiment for non-white, or I guess not, or failed experiment. Yeah, failed experiment for them. A, for non-white people, and especially black people, okay? And the reason why these people are here in D.C., and they're already here, and I'll let you know how I know um, in a little bit. But the reason why they are already here, well, I mean, the reason why they're coming here is because their test... Uh, their test proved successful. Their test was Charlottesville. Okay? Their test was Charlottesville and it proved successful. And so now they are essentially doing live live runs, runs with live ammunition. Okay? <laughs> uh, no pun intended considering what I'm about to say in a little bit. But yeah, uh, was a trial run, Charlottesville, and this one is the main run, the actual real life run. Now, I'm looking forward to it. Why? Simple. Uh, because number one, I get to actually look these people in the face. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen covert white supremacists before. I mean, hell, they're everywhere. They're your teachers, they're your lawyers, they're your doctors. They're, they pervade and saturate society. And they're covert and they smile in your face. Who knows? You might even be fucking one of them. Okay? Because there's no shortage of whites. I mean, let's, let's, let's not play dumb here. Uh, ever since slavery, they've been banging like... Mm, mm, they hate those niggers, but they'll still fuck them, though. And it's not just the white supremacist slave owner men. Now, uh, when those men were off with some of those slave women banging them in different states, mm, carrying them around as, like, uh, fuck toys or something... Uh, the white supremacist misses and even the teenage daughter, uh, they they were having fun with some of the uh, bulls, you know, some of the bucks, the bulls, whatever, if you know what I mean. Hence where that whole term of uh, that whole subsection of porn comes from or hails from, really, truthfully. But that's, that's beside the point. Point is, you might even be fucking some of these white supremacists, but they're the covert ones. They're the ones that do it while smiling in your face. I get to finally, for the first time in my life, see one that's coming barreling down the line they're not hiding it they're letting it know nigger i don't like you for whatever the hell reason don't care don't don't like you and that's that and it's great it's great you know i get to see my enemies they they are the better ones they they are the better ones because i get to see them coming barreling down the line there's no hiding there's no deception they're not smiling in my face while they have a fucking knife behind their back. No, the knife is in front. They're growling, gnarling, and whatever the hell. It's great. Now, these imbeciles picked the wrong place. Because this isn't the... I mean, okay, so technically this is the South. Maryland is the South. Mason-Dixon line and all that bullshit. Fine. Technically, from a historical standpoint, I guess a real-life standpoint, Maryland still is, quote-unquote, the South. You ask anybody from the South as well as anybody from here, this ain't the fucking South. And it's not, for all intents and purposes, uh, the South, right? Having said that, these fuckers picked the wrong fucking place. Why? Simple. People around here aren't gonna play that shit. Now, I don't mean the fucking pencil necks and shit. You know, they got clearances to worry about. They're not gonna be there. They're gonna hide and cower. No, 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 no. There are other people that aren't gonna play this shit they have no dc is not the place first of all these people want nothing these white supremacists they want nothing east east of the anacostia they're they they no they don't want anything that 
that east of the Anacostia has. The problem is, east of the Anacostia is just a bridge away. A couple of bridges, right? And, <laughs> oh, it's going to be glorious tomorrow. And east of the Anacostia can easily come west of the Anacostia real quick, okay? Real fucking quick. What else? Every single, well, not every single one, but most, if not, no, most, I wouldn't say all, not all, but most, most of the train, all, damn near all of the train lines in D.C. start off in and or end in and at the hood, okay? Blue Line or Largo Town, oh, fuck, man, Landover, Chevrolet, Aberdeen, oh, oh hell. Start off at in or end at the hood, and or end at the hood, okay? That shit is just a couple of stops. Lafayette Plaza, which is where the, or Enfant, Enfant, no, 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 Lafayette, Lafayette, that's where they are. They said it was in front of the White House, but Lafayette, okay, fine. I thought, it's, I thought it was 16th and H. That is directly in front of the White House. That is, 16th Street is the main vein that runs through D.C., straight up and down. And 8th Street is the cross street. That's a one-way. I thought that's where they were doing it, because that's directly in front of the White House, front gate. But, okay, Lafayette Square, okay, fine. That's only a couple of stops. And God forbid Uber drivers, oh, and... I'll be getting on all that in a second. God forbid Uber drivers are just going to ship people over there. If I see somebody that looks like they're about to ride, I'm shipping them down there. I'm not charging them. The Uber app goes off. Not get Uber into it. The app goes off. I'm packing this car the fuck up. This car is getting packed up. Packed up with fighters, okay? And then the next thing is, there's a lot of motherfuckers around here who have nothing to lose. Down in the south, where you can try and southern strategy that bullshit, there's nothing but some, uh, okay, let me not say nothing but, I mean, let, 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 let me not put all blacks in that, but let's be honest, Charlottesville, eh, that shit should have been shut down by all the blacks that are there. It should have been. Here... They're going to be damn civil or there's going to be problems. There's a lot of motherfuckers around here that have nothing to lose. A lot. And they're going to find that out if they pull the wrong shit. Next thing, you got standard issue Crips and Bloods here, but you also have MS-13. And I think there's a couple of other sub-gangs, lesser known gangs, whatever. You have the standard issue Crips and Bloods that are everywhere. You have MS-13 as well. I have a feeling they're going to be making an appearance as well. I don't know that. I, I don't know any of these gangs, but something tells me uh, they will be there. Okay? They picked the wrong place. They should have stayed in the South. They picked the wrong place. Now, the next thing is, from what I've come to read, because I've been researching and, and, and reading up and studying up on this thing before this thing tomorrow. Apparently, uh, guns are not allowed. I, they, they don't care if you have a permit, guns aren't allowed, which is going to be, which is bad for them because these white supremacists, they, they, they love hiding behind their guns. But you know what? You take away the little bullshit Call of Duty versus Modern Warfare guns and they have to fight man to man, hand to hand. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, no, nah. that's not going to be good for them, right? Which leads to the next thing. I think the main reason why they ban the ban guns, they don't give a fuck, is not even because, oh my God, this area and the kind of people that are here. I think it's because Trump has been kind of pissing off his base a bit and his peoples, a lot of his peoples. Now, there are a lot of them that are just going to be diehard no matter what happens. You could go rape a little kid or something, busting up balls deep in a little girl, and they're still going to love him. Fine, but he's been pissing off a lot of his people. Okay, and some of them might take that as an opportunity to, to remove him. Ballot or bullet, right? Okay. I think I think that's the main reason why. I don't think they really give a fuck about because again, the kind of people that they also want to protect, they're not going to be there. They're going to be away or taking the day off or hell Sunday. Most of them are off anyway. They're going to be staying home. Nah. 
it's going to be the protesters, yes, but sprinkled in those protesters are going to be the warriors, the fighters. They are going to be there, and they don't give a fuck about them. The only problem is, eh, they don't want Trump or any of Trump's people getting hurt. And he's, these people are supposed to be making some demonstration in front of the White House. They don't want to take any chances. I think that's the main reason why they got rid of the guns. Nobody's allowed to have guns there. They don't care if you have a permit. First Amendment is null and void there. Okay. And also anything that looks like a weapon, um, that, that, that could reasonably, I guess, be made into a weapon. Or, or be used as a weapon. So in my case, I was thinking of bringing a sledgehammer. That's not gonna work. A little baby one, a baby one that still has more or less, well, a slightly less power than a regular sledgehammer. But yeah, I was planning on doing that. Um, one that's slightly less power because it's just physically smaller, but you can swing it faster. I was planning on doing that, but they said nothing to that. Well, that's fine. I'll just have some gloves. That's it, some gloves. Keep my hands protected, you know what I mean? And not no boxing gloves, obviously, or MMA. Just, just, you know, just gloves to keep my skin from ripping or something. Also, lotion it up, you know. Just, 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 just gloves, you know what I mean? Just have some gloves, put them shits on, and we're ready to go. Which leads to the next point. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking at the police force there because, what, like, at least half. Has to be at least half of the police presence, the, 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 the D.C. police presence is going to be black so we'll see how that plays out and and, and and I'm not going to be too too happy that they're some of them are black I'm not going to be too happy about that because just because they're black that doesn't mean anything they could be black on the outside and be white on the inside or be controlled by a white head as far as their captain or or, or, or sorry or whoever the fuck I don't know so I'm not I'm not going to be too happy or or too pumped up about that but i'll see how that that plays out i'm gonna see how that works i'm gonna see how that uh fares out you know so uh yeah this was not the place this is not the place i guarantee you my black ass or black people in general couldn't be going into the middle of fucking rural i don't know fucking alabama wyoming north dakota or anything talking about Black Power, Black Panther, uh, the Black Panther, not that Wakandan shit, you know, fist raise and all that shit, they couldn't do that, but yeah, these people, these people, these people, you people, those people, I think they're gonna come here and pull this shit off, okay, well, this will be the test, now me, I'm not going there intending to do anything, I am going there for when shit pops off, and I make sure they take the first swing. That's that's when I I mean I'm I'm gonna be parking my car underground so if anything happens, my car doesn't get destroyed. I can also make my exit when it's all said and done. But um, yeah, I'm 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 not gonna be in this pants bullshit that I have on now. I'm gonna be in the shit that I use at the gym. I'm gonna be in shorts. Not gonna have those slip-ons I have on. I'm gonna have on um, not hiking boots, but or or maybe the sneakers. You know, something I can I can swiftly move in. Okay. That shit is gonna be for maximum flexibility, maximum mobility. You never know when you might have to launch a knee or something. You know, maybe a couple of low kicks. Who knows? But uh, you know, it's gonna be good to put some of these skills to use. You know, I I mean I have been practicing a little bit. You know, you know what I mean. I've uh, been 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 lowering, been lessening the uh, the weightlifting and doing a bit more uh, of the uh, skills practice. It'd be nice to see how far that's coming along. Who knows? Maybe I'll get to choke somebody. Who knows? Um, uh, eh, you never know what happens. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Um, I am looking forward to this shit. Uh, I mean, I I mean I. I don't care if this sounds fucked up to some people or they're going to be wondering, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Uh, yeah, finding joy in attack mode. That is what people need to do. Need to stop being scared. Need to stop letting bullshit fly. Because again, especially when it comes to black people, uh, you couldn't go marching in the middle of rule wherever the hell 
and not have to be wondering if you're going to get shot at from the woods with somebody with their fucking AK or AR or fucking 12 gauge or whatever the fuck, okay? And then and that whole Black Lives Matter thing, uh, uh, I could say a whole bunch of them, uh, a whole bunch of things about them, but uh, no, considering that shit's been infiltra uh, infiltrated and Black Lives Matter has been turning into All Lives Matter and Gay Lives Matter and all this shit, even though it's been Black Lives that have been affected by shit that's been going on over the past couple of past few years. Apparently, all lives, even though all lives aren't getting shot in the street 24 7, at, at the rate, the rate, rate. So, yeah, go on ahead and remove that comment or go on ahead and click backspace for what you're about to write at the rate that black people have been. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't take Black Lives Matter as being of any consequence. They are null and void as far as I'm concerned. In any case, uh, yeah, finding joy in attack mode. It's gonna be nice to be able to stare my enemy straight in the face. There is a time for peace and a time for war. You all can go find the Bible verse that says that. Anyway. Later. Ah, yes. Um, forgot about this. <clears throat> uh, I did say that I'll that I was gonna say a few things later, and I'll let you know how I know those things. Yeah. Um, doing some research, uh, doing research and studying up on this whole thing before it happens. Apparently, everybody can deny them service. Uber has let it be known, even though I don't really do Uber anymore. Although I am still technically an Uber driver, just have to turn on the app. Um, or go online, I have the app here. Uh, Uber uh, drivers, they can deny them service if they so choose. Obviously, you can deny anybody service. They need to tell us that. Especially when it's safety of, of riders and passengers. And let's be honest here. Um, do you really want to be a black person and have a bunch of fucking skinheads? Or white supremacists, whatever the hell. I don't know, American History X motherfuckers, whatever the hell. In, in your backseat and you have no way to defend yourself because your feet are useless, your hands have to be on the wheel or else everybody dies. No. Okay, so there's that. Um, apparently restaurants have let it be known. Um, they're either closing for that day or they've let it be known that, yo, we will kick you out. Uh, what's next? I don't think hotels, hotels might want to, but I think there's just too much money to be made and for a lot of these people, hey, uh, money is money. I don't care if it's uh, child rape money or white supremacist money or blood money or whatever the fuck. Blood diamonds. Money is money. Bills still get paid. You know? You don't know where your money came from. Your employer just got that money and gave it to you. Right. So, there's that. A lot of people are going to be denying them service of a lot of shit. Yeah, okay. Which they have the legal right to do. Yeah? Yeah. We reserve the right to refuse service. Right. No doubt they're going to be, oh my god, discrimination, this is what Martin Luther King wanted. I bet you those fucking, fucking white supremacists are going to be spewing that shit. Uh, next thing, how did I know that they're already here? For anybody who's watched Highlander, okay, to Damascus, Germantown, we're going towards Damascus area. Damascus is Damascus. I used to date this half Syrian girl and she told me how to properly say, say Damascus, but I still say it white as hell. Anyway, um, <clears throat> how do I know that they're, that they're already here? Obviously because, number one, they're not about to just ship all in at the same time. That, that, that's going to be too big a fucking target. Number two, if anybody's watched uh, Highlander, you know, that whole Duncan McCloud business? Or I guess also the one with Christopher Lambert, but, you know, Duncan McCloud. Clan McCloud. When two immortals get near each other... They sense each other coming. They sense or, or sense each other nearby. Essentially, that's what happened with me uh, a couple of days uh, a couple of days ago when I picked somebody up. I was doing Uber. Yes, I know I said I got rid of it, and I did. But like I said, uh, if I just want a little bit of pocket money to do Uber, put Uber in its place where it should be. Not full time, just a little bit of pocket money. Fine. Mm, that whole instant pay thing. Anyway, person got in the car. He saw me, I saw him during, uh, through, through the rearview mirror, and we both knew exactly who the hell who was. 
I knew he was one of those types here for that fucking march, right? And he knew my ass wasn't exactly Martin Luther King. My ass was more on the Malcolm X end. He, he could sense that off me. So we were both dead silent. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I mean, you can hear cotton dropping on the fucking carpet silent, okay? Cotton drops on the carpet, makes a loud fucking nuclear, nuclear bomb going off kind of noise. It was so quiet. When he when when we got to his destination, he didn't he didn't say thank you. I didn't say have a good night. He just got out the car. Motherfucker made sure not to slam my doors. Good for him. Good for him. And that was that. So I know they're here already. Okay, I know they're here. So that's that's gonna be uh, that that's how I know that. I I, I could sense them there. Like you can just. Something you can just sense when shit's not right. You can just sense somebody's off. Like, they look perfectly fine. You know, they haven't given any physical or anything. You can't prove. But you, you just know. Eh, what's up with this bitch, yo, man? Yeah, who is this dude? Like, you can just sense that shit. You know how you can just sense shit sometimes? Yeah, I could sense that they were here. And I guarantee you I'm right. I'd be surprised if I see him tomorrow, too. So, you know, that's that. Um, so, for any, uh, sorry I left that part out. Uh, but, yeah, so that's how I know they're there. And as far as them being able to function in D.C. after this shit, they're probably going to get kicked out of everywhere short of, I don't know where. <laughs> I have no idea fucking where. I don't know where it's going to accept them because, I mean, shit, they might... I, Yo, my God, you didn't kick out these white supremacists? Uh, you, you didn't kick out these fucking racists? Whoa. Nah, that's going to be too much bad PR, man. That's going to be too much bad. That's, 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 mm -hmm. that's, that's going to be way too bad for them. They're going to lose too much money in the negative publicity that's going to come from their, from their employees not kicking them out or being ordered not to kick them out. They're going to lose way too much money and too much publicity and whatever the hell. I don't care if it's McDonald's or 7-Eleven because they're not going anywhere no matter what. But still, they're going to lose too much money. So I don't know anywhere that's not going to kick them out tomorrow. If they try to go anywhere and quote unquote patron business. All right. So, you know, hey, like I said, this ain't the South. Uh, you can't get away with that shit everywhere, even though you all are everywhere. You know, I, uh, I noticed they didn't go to California. Why didn't they have, why, why didn't they go to South Central LA or something to post, uh, to, uh, to do this march? Hmm? Why didn't go there? Why didn't they go to, I don't know, New York, like fucking Brooklyn Bronx or Yonkers or some shit? Exactly. Well, they shouldn't have came here either. Anyway, later. All right, so hopefully this works. Um, I am here in DC at this uh, uh, protest, counter protest thing. I thought I was gonna be late because this thing started at 12. Well, the counter protesters got here at 12. Uh, the uh, the people we're all waiting for they apparently don't get here until about three from what the guy said so i'm gonna head back to my car and charge my phone because i lowered the power from max power to like half but uh yeah i want to be at 100 percent for when this shit starts uh, who knows i might i uh, just want to be ready I'm not, I'm not here protesting, I'm not here counter-protesting, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the time for talking has ended, <laughs> quite honestly, like, there's no more talking, I'm, I'm just here, just in case, just in case, so, I'm heading back to my car, it's Sunday, so parking is free everywhere, I don't really want to lose my spot, so, and I'm right next to the White House, so, uh, I'll probably just stay there, just wait until about three or so, have one of the sandwiches I made the sandwiches 
and uh, you know just just uh, wait for them to get here so that's that's that um, cops are here and they're looking at me I guess because I got on more or less the same glass as they do they're probably wondering what's up with me so I don't know but I'm walking back through here and I'm gonna go charge my phone uh, later all right so this is the north side 16th and H apparently this from what I read is where they're supposed to start but cop over there said they don't get here until 5. Now I know some of them are already here because uh, you can watch their eyes and see it. Uh, there's this one guy that walked past me and he just couldn't keep it together. His eyes just gave it away. You know what I mean. In any case. Uh, so that's the north side here. The east and the south that has protesters. I didn't see anything on the west but uh, that'll probably fill up soon. Uh, yeah, now I definitely am going to go back to my car and charge my phone because I want to have 100% for this. They're supposed to be here either, somebody said three, this cop said about five. I think the cop knows and she just doesn't want to say, you know, in any case. Uh, yeah, I'll be back later. I'm going to go charge my phone. And I think some of these idiots actually think that I'm like some undercover cop or something, because again... Nope. No. No, I'm not. Just somebody here to observe and report. And, uh... That's it. So... Yeah. Just observe and report, that's all. Anyway, I'm out. Okay, so one thing we're gonna have to be careful of here is I see a lot of cops in plain clothes. Now, obviously, there are gonna be some in plain clothes, but from what I remember from the OWS and all that shit, all these plain clothes cops, eh, some of them might be one of the ones throwing the first punch for other people. So, I would say we'd be careful of that. I'd say we'd be, we'd be very careful of that. Because uh, it's been well documented that cops out here in plain clothes. In fact, there's a YouTube video here. A bunch of OWS protesters. They circled this one guy that they suspected. And then a black a black van just pulled up damn near, ran the people over, and it scooped him up. Found out he was a cop himself. He was undercover starting shit. So I'm gonna be very careful about that. I'm seeing way too many plain clothes people. And I don't quite trust it, so. Uh, there's that. But now we just sit and wait. Now we just sit and wait. So, as I said before, I mean, they're here dancing around now, but uh, I'm not here to dance. I'm not here to protest. I'm not here to do any of that. I am simply here just in case anything happens. Just in case anything happens I I don't believe in the dancing around that they're doing the chanting no, no it's not enough I don't believe in any of that stuff because if these people start swinging like they did the last time well we're gonna see who's who and what's what then so I'm gonna stay to the outer edges and let them dance let them cheer let them do whatever they want but uh, I didn't come all the way from Frederick to D.C. Look up that distance. Just to dance and chant like I'm trying to cast some magic spell. Nope. No, 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 no. I am here just in case they try the same shit they tried last time. I don't, I don't, I don't... Too much talking. Just way too much talking. But hey, we'll see what happens. Perhaps it will be a peaceable assembly. <laughs> we'll see.
see, this is why I don't take this thing seriously. There's a very specific problem here, and they are going off with a whole bunch of different topics. That this is why this thing doesn't work. They want to chant, they want to cheer, they want to march, but none of this is actually going to work, and that's the problem. What is this bitch talking about? You get rid of white supremacy, you get rid of everything. Everything stops because of that. But yet, she's just simply chanting about a, a bunch of random stuff. Like, this is the problem. This is why nothing ever changes. Anyway, I'm just waiting for them to show up, see what happens. I'll give it 10 minutes. Because if after 10 minutes nothing happens, nothing's gonna happen. In any case, I'm just a little bit sick of one simple thing, white supremacy, and yet they're talking about all this other crap that is completely irrelevant. In any case, we'll, we'll see. Okay, see, what did I... Okay, so this is what I told you. This is the reason why this is a bad idea for them to come here because all of Southeast DC, east of the Anacostia, can get over here real quick. Everyone east of the Anacostia can get over here real quick. Every single metro, almost every single train, almost every single rail system starts off at or ends in the hood. So you have every single, almost every single train system either starts off at or ends in the hood. You have everything east of the Anacostia can get over here in less than 30 minutes. This is why it's not going to work. This is why this is going to be different than Charlottesville. There's way too many things here. And I know they're here. They're here somewhere. But they're just, it's just not going to work. It is not going to work. And I figured they would have thought about this already. There's a lot of motherfuckers in here that have nothing at all to lose. A lot. So, we'll see. I uh, see some people getting their gloves on already. I wish I had mine, but whatever. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, they should have planned this thing out a bit better. I mean, they could I mean, they had to have thought like it was going to be very easy for the ghetto to come up here. <laughs> Very easy. But we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm just here observing, reporting. Actually, let me ask you guys. Do you think that they thought it out properly, the Nazis coming here? Do you think they thought it out properly? No, nah, well, I don't know. I mean, this, see, to be honest, it's a chess match. Right. So you gotta realize, you know what I'm saying, why are they coming here when they know they are known? Right. What is the purpose? It's, I mean, because we have the face, you can leader. say it, but it's not, you know, hey, it's boss. not going to be a hey, wise decision. This is not Charlotte. Exactly. Most police officers out here are uh, not of color. Me, you know right. Oh, thanks, man. Minorities. Okay. Uh, so you're trying to trying to figure out what's the back end game on this, not the front end game. Right. Don't go ahead first into this. Right. You're right. Trying to figure out what's the back end because that's what is more important than actually being present here. It's something else back end. Right, because I mean, what I was just saying before I came up to you guys is it made no sense, because, at least up front it made no sense because number one, you have a whole bunch of people here that are not scared of them. You have, I mean, from from, from the from, from, from the other kinds, you got the Crips, Bloods, MS-13s, there's them. Uh, again, you said, you know, there's some cops here that are not exactly on that side, if you know what I mean. Most, if most, most of the train station, most of the rails starts off at or ends in the hood somewhere. Yeah, correct, yeah. Correct. And everything east of the Anacostia can get over here real quick. Yes. Right. Real quick. Yeah. So I don't think they quite thought about it, but like you said, chess, chess match. There's something else going on even here. The, even the private car service in this area, Uber, Lyft, who's are mostly black drivers. Right, right. Or the cab drivers are mostly. Immigrants. I'm one of them too. Yeah. You know and. I came here from Frederick. I'm like, let's see what happens. Right. Let's see what happens. You know, you just have to wait for them to throw the first hit if they do. But 
us, for them to understand, this is this is all federal. Right. So, you know what I'm saying, do anything down here, it's not just a misdemeanor charge, it's a federal charge. Right. You know. Right. One, it's not wise how they showed up in Charlotte, because Virginia is a uh, gun chosen state. Right. It's a state that has no gun, so what do they expect to intimidate us with? Right. Right. You know, they couldn't carry their tools they the Because once you take the guns away. Right, right. And the moment you go hand to hand, well, yeah, they, 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 things get a little. Yeah, it's going to still be out now. Yeah. It's still going to be out now. Yep. Well, let's get on to this mark. All right. All right, thank you. right there. Too much dancing, not enough getting ready to fight. See, see, while, while they're dancing, I'm watching out for cars, for buses, for people in plain clothes. That is the fucking problem. Too much dancing, not enough getting ready to fight. And as a result, they'll dance and wear themselves out, tire themselves out, and, okay, we got this, fuck, I'm getting real sick of this, this might actually be the most appropriate thing right here, this might actually be the most appropriate thing, they're over there dancing, these people are getting ready to fight, and, this man is here playing a fucking violin, like the goddamn Titanic. Well, there we go. Black people, this is why nothing changes. This is why nothing at all changes. The only thing we have left now is hopefully, hopefully there's enough street motherfuckers out here that when they come and try something, it'll get shut down. Cause those people dancing, they're gonna be the same ones running the moment these people come in like fucking Call of Duty Modern Warfare type shit. They're gonna be the same ones running. Hopefully there's enough people that are gonna be ready to fight. I mean, these cops... Uh, I'm not even... I, I don't know about these cops. But... And his shit's getting louder. He's trying to drown them out. Very sad. Very fucking sad. And he's here laughing, and he has every right to it. He's laughing about this and he has every fucking right to. In fact, let me let me ask these two people. I mean, let me ask you guys this. What do you think about this right here? I think this is America. Yeah. Hmm? This, is, this is America. This is basically America. Mm. No, no, no. I mean, I, I mean, compared to what happened the last time, where they were here to protest, but the other side was here, essentially, here to fight. Yeah. They're here dancing around right now, 
I've been watching for cars coming, anybody in plain clothes that might be something else. Do you think this is the right thing to do right now? Or do you think that we should be kind of getting ready just in case anything goes down? Well, I'm going to put it this way. Just like in any situation, you can't be fully angry 100% of the time. You've got to be prepared for anything. Sometimes you laugh in the face of pain just because you, that's how you croak and that's how you're dealing with it. Okay. I don't think they, none of them are not unprepared on anything. Okay. I don't think we can live like that, worried about what they're going to do like in that sense. We have to protect ourselves, yes. Yes, but we have to speak out and, love, and put love out there, you know what I'm saying? And let these people, they can come on down here. They can come on down here. We're ready for all that. Okay. Yeah, you know okay, so then we are ready though, yeah. just in case. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. this love thing has been, I mean, we've been... I mean, not trying to be on some Malcolm X business, but this love stuff has been going on since Dr. King, and they're still here, and they ran, and they damn near ran our peoples over. So, but I think, but I think it's also the time. It was the location. Mm. This is DC. This is Chocolate City. Okay. And when we first heard about it, we was like, y'all, y'all, y'all just bullshit. Y'all ain't about to really do this. Right. But when they came serious about it, we was like, all right, you coming into our city? Mm -hmm. We're gonna let you know what's gonna happen. It ain't okay. gonna be as easy. Right. We native Washington. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna come down here and check it out anyway. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I don't. I came from Frederick. It. I don't appreciate it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't appreciate that, that, you rolling all through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because pro like protesting, you know protesting, that, that happens every day around here. We used to that. Right. But the shit y'all pulling out here. This ain't protest. This y'all being a goddamn fool. Right. Yeah, okay. ain't about to do that in our city. Okay. That guy over there. Yeah. He yep. a neighboring guy. You know what I'm yep. He a neighboring these folks who think that they could just go ahead and jump out there. Okay. But like, I, like I saw on the internet the other day, don't let the president mm -hmm. and his racist tactics get you messed up. He got bodyguards. Right. You don't. You don't have bodyguards. <laughs> just remember that's, that. That's true. Just remember that. And it can change. And look, we can flick the switch real quick. It don't, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I don't believe people are. I see people looking around. People are looking around. Mm -hmm. But um, there ain't gonna be no recreation of that. That that shop. Okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not to mention, I'm gonna go ahead and say this as a native public person. I'm gonna say this. Uh, what is this going on here? There's no open carry here. Okay. So you can't hide behind your guns in DC. Okay, okay. You got these. That's all you want to have. That's, that's, that's what we were going to jail. That's what we were going to jail for a very long time. Okay. Like okay. okay. I don't want to hear no. I, feel, I, I didn't know. And if you're in DC, you from DC, you know the law. So okay. If okay. you not play that, you cannot have a pistol out here. So if you come out here with a pistol, you're supposed to go straight to jail. Okay. All right. That's all I'm worried about right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they okay. The police are here to stop that. All right. All right. They go Antifa. They just came down that way. Well, we'll just, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Like well, me, I'm not, I'm not dancing. I'm not chanting. I'm not anything. I'm just sitting here waiting just yeah, in I'm case. Looking, yeah, that's yeah, I'm what here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm on just, the outer edges. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going in there. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. I, yeah, I just got out of there too. I was like, I don't feel like, I don't, I don't like being boxed in. Right, right. All right, cool. Thank you, man. No problem, no problem. The thing I'm wondering here is if they all, if they all, if everyone from all these various factions will say, if they all meet up in one place, what is to stop them from getting surrounded? What is to stop the encirclement if they all meet up in one place? That is what I'm trying to figure out. And I'm not able to find the answer, but once again, we'll see. We will see. There's way too many people, way too many people that are just chanting and dancing around. But hopefully that guy's right if stuff happens. Find joy in attack mode if anything happens. <laughs> Most of these people get wiped out. Fuck. But there are a few. There are a 
few. There are a few fighters here. In case these cops happen to have a justification or they couldn't quite do their job properly or at all. We'll see. Okay, this is probably going to be my last video about this because this ended up just the way I thought it would. A bunch of chanting, a bunch of dancing around, and nothing actually got done. Here it is. These Nazis have actually been here for a while now. They are, in fact, here. There's a live stream of them here. And nobody knows where they are. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Like, this is the kind of con game I'm talking about. Nobody knows where these people are, but they've been here for a while now. And there she goes yelling and screaming. Not only that, I know some of these people just lying around here. They are lookouts. Like some of these people that I see just, just looking around, they're watching me real hard too. I guess they sense me, but they're lookouts. They're lookouts for these people. Every single time these people move in one direction, they're lookouts go and tell them and then they move in another direction. That's how they've been able to avoid them for so long. It's sad. It's sad, really. But good job, Nazis. Good job. <laughs> you mean to tell me like well over 20 different groups managed, managed to come here and yet none of them can find them? You have five groups there. You have this one coming down. You have a bunch there. None of them can find these people. This is great. This is great. None of them can find these Nazis. <laughs> How the hell do you not find Nazis? It's crazy. These Nazis have been here for a couple hours now, and they keep on shifting and avoiding the people. That's sad. That is sad. What's going on, man? I guarantee you a bunch of these people that are just looking out, they have their headphones, they, they have their glasses on like me. A bunch of these people are lookouts. I guarantee you a bunch of these people are nothing but lookouts. Nothing but lookouts. But we'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how long it lasts because I like to think that at some point they're going to find them. But this is sad. There is over 20 different groups. Yes, 20 different groups here and they can't locate these Nazis at all it's 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 interesting but I know some of them are lookouts I'm not gonna sit here and say that the cops are helping them no but I know some of them are lookouts for these people every single time they move in one direction they get notified I mean there's a fucking live stream going on there's a live stream there's somewhere in DC there is a live stream going on of them right now and nobody can find them even though they're in DC that's fucking crazy but there's a bunch of protests. There's that, that's that's it's fucking nuts. That is fucking nuts. These Nazis are here in DC. There's a live stream of them going on, and nobody can find them, even though there's 20 groups out here against them. No one can find them. That's fucking crazy. But then again, all I could find is they're fucking. Uh, it's fucking sad. It is fucking sad. I know some of these people are lookouts, but that's all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm real weary of some of these people. Like this lady right here, she keeps looking at me way too much. But that's all right. Yeah. She keeps looking at me way too much, this lady with the kids, those kids, but that's all right. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. 16th and H. White House is right there. I heard they were circling around and that's all I know. But, yeah, we'll see what's going on. Anyway, if something happens, I'll turn this back on, but until then, as far as I'm concerned, this is just a pseudo-deadly game of cat and mouse. That is fucking crazy. That makes no sense to me. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wary of this girl. That was fucking crazy. But we'll see what happens. Huh. We'll see what happens here. Some of these people, some of these people just, this lady, I'm kind of weary of her and her two fucking kids. Like, she brought a kid here, but yet she's covering the kid from seeing anything. That's kind of suspicious to me. That's very suspicious, but. Very suspicious of this lady. This seems really weird. Why would you bring a kid here if you're just gonna cover him from seeing stuff? Like, leave him the fuck home, you know? Leave him with a babysitter, with something. It's that kind of agent shit I'm talking about, like, okay, well, there you go. It's about damn time. That's kind of wonderful. I wonder if she heard me. In any case, we'll see. The news reporters, news reporters, news reporters, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Before my battery dies out, I need to get me one of those power banks. Uh, let me turn this off until something actually happens. Well, we finally found them, and that's all of them right there. There can there can be more than maybe a hundred or two hundred at the most. That's it. That's it. There's at least 20,000 here, and that's it. That's what all this was about. Them right there. Jesus fucking is. Anyway, whatever. This was a bust. Ain't shit gonna happen here. Nothing at all is gonna happen here. This, this is a fucking joke. These guys can leave. All these cops can leave. Nothing's gonna happen at all. They have no guns, especially. Ah, oh, fuck. This, this was a fucking joke. Well, Charlottesville, this isn't. Charlottesville, this is not. Well, I guess they gotta worry about getting out of here too, because... Whatever. I might head home. Now, the one thing you do have to ask yourself about this is, would they even allow, say, a Hamas group to be here? Would they allow an anti-Israel group to be here? Well, minus them. I mean, like, strictly Israel, not just whatever. Would they allow an anti-American group to be here? Probably not. But, right there, all along here, they have them lined up. That's very interesting. For these people. Of course, we all know why that is, but we'll pretend we don't. I've had enough. I'll stay here for five more minutes and then I'm home. Are we allowed to go over Right. So it's been a few days, uh, what is it, like three days now? Uh, two, three days removed from this. Uh, Unite the Right to Rally in D.C., which I was there live. And the reason why I took a couple days to post this as opposed to posting it on the day or the day of or the day after is because I wanted to seriously think about certain things. And unfortunately, it was a complete waste of time because there was really nothing to think about. Everything that I thought about led back to the same thing. And there is several things here. The first one is uh, black people as a whole. I was there. I mean, you see the footage before my talking now. You you saw all the bits of footage that I got. And you saw the commentary in, in, in many of those. It, 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 there's a lot of chanting. There's a lot of protesting, a lot of marching, a lot of, and of course, unfortunate to say, a bunch of dancing. But you heard what I was saying while all that was going on. 
You know, it's like if it came down to some fight shit, and they instead and the other side instead got a instead of getting a car got a bus, and tried to run us all over. You know who's who's gonna be ready to go, right? Way too much dancing, way too much chanting. I was there looking around. I was I was talking to people, yes, but I was looking around. I was staying on the outside edge. Think of it as like. Uh, you're in a packed room or a packed auditorium or a packed uh, convention or whatever the hell, stage, arena. I'm the one that's uh, on, on the edge, way the hell back near the exit. Put it to you like that, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's near the exit. I'm looking on, and okay, I might need some binoculars, okay, fine. But I am near the exit. And I'm looking around, I'm watching everybody. I'm looking around. I'm not doing all that dancing, chanting, and all that stuff, marching. I did very little walking compared to everybody else. I'm not walking here and there, up and down, left and right. I'm not running up and down like Jesus just came back. Nope. I'm 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 looking out. I'm on the lookout. I'm I'm looking left and right. I'm all of that. So that's the first thing. I'm 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 very weary when black people start. In the face of enemies like what we're dealing with, when they start dancing and, and, and all that stuff, and I love my black skin and the skin that I'm in, okay, that's nice. It almost sounds like you're trying to make a mixtape or something. Okay, fine. Mm. Okay, let, let, let the little sprites dance around and play around, but... <laughs> Uh, when it comes time to do battle, I need to know who the hell's here and who's who and what's what. So that's that. Not not really appreciating the whole dancing around and, and, and all of that. Next thing, the protesters. There's a whole bunch of different groups. There's a whole bunch of different different groups. And truth be told, I'm not I'm not paying attention to them, and I'm not distracted by them. I saw the Antifa groups, which I believe were the ones in all black, with with black balacavas, and me, I think some of them might have had a gas mask as well, who knows. Um, there, there was this one guy yelling out what you do if you get hit with tear gas, like put, what the hell is it, tomato? or uh, Something, I forgot what it was, but if you get hit with tear gas, here's what you do, blah, 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 okay, fine. There's of course the LGBT camp. They can they made their presence known. The Black Lives Matter camp. They let their presence be known. I'm not I'm not interested in any of those groups. See, because truth be told, I'm really not sure how white supremacy affects those groups as much as it does strictly black people. Now, of course, they affect other people as well, but I'll get to them in a second. But I don't know how white supremacy affects the Antifa group, how how it affects them anywhere near to the de to the degree that it affects black people. So I'm not really in their camp with solidarity and let's all unite. No, no. The right can go and unite. I'm not really uniting with a whole bunch of different groups that are off on some other stuff. I'm not. I'm, I'm looking at white supremacy. I'm not looking at Illuminati. I'm not looking at Bilderbergers, Prison Planet, Shadow Government. I'm not looking at any of that stuff right now. We can look at that stuff later. I'm looking directly at white supremacy and white supremacy. I'm not looking at immigration. I'm not looking at LGBT issues. I'm not looking at the groups that are going to start letting themselves be more and more known now. The uh, pedophile groups, the ones that they're going to start demanding their rights. I'm not looking at them either. I'm not looking at the people who want interspecies mar uh, uh, relations, fucking animals, bestiality. I'm not looking at them either. I'm looking strictly at white supremacy in relation to black peoples, people, black peoples, and you know, what is black? You know, somebody that's one one trillionth black but looks damn near Nordic white, right? They can claim black. And not playing dumb here. Not playing dumb. Okay. So that's the other thing. Now, one thing that I will like, like I said in the video, in, in the various videos, um, I'm a little weary of all these other groups because they'll sit here and chant and chant and chant. But if they get what they want out of it, are they still going to be here when it comes time for black people to get what black people want out of the end of white supremacy? You know, like, well, what, what, mm -hmm. 
And why do I say this? Because I noticed something quite interesting. And it was kind of highlighted by that one either gay guy or looking really suspect uh, playing the violin. And as, and as people started protesting louder about actual legitimate shit, he started playing louder. Hmm. Okay. I noticed when black people were just dancing around and when they were screaming and fuck you and fuck white supremacy and all that more or less emotional shit, a lot of the liberal whites, they were quiet, they were smiling, they were in agreement and stuff like that, but I noticed when anybody was saying anything of consequence, the few times that was actually happening, including my time, I'll get to that in a second, they weren't exactly smiling and nodding and 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 in and in cheer and applause all that much or at all really. And now enter my case. I'm not sure if anybody that was there heard me, but I was the guy on the megaphone. Um, I was dressed in all black with the black um, with the black uh, black shirt, black shorts, black shoes, black socks, and the black sunglasses. And I was the one that was a that had the megaphone and I said I'd like to thank the group, thank them, meaning the the people across across the quote unquote aisle, the alt-right over there being guarded by the wall of cops. I'd like to thank them for showing me my enemies coming barreling down, I mean I'm paraphrasing here, but coming barreling down the line. Okay? It's, it's actually quite refreshing and people were like, oh, oh shit, what? Okay. I was using somebody else's megaphone, some some white guy, interestingly enough. Interestingly enough, he wouldn't ask me, what are you going to say? Why the hell does it matter? If I was going to say anything pro-white supremacy or pro-alt-right, I'd be over there standing with them. I wouldn't be here. So why does it matter what I'm going to say? That's, that's a very interesting thing. I noticed that the person just before me that had his megaphone, that he was talking about, uh, some 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 gay guy going off and on a, some emotional tangent. Fuck you! Fuck the white! Fuck you! Fuck all you mother! He was smiling. He was laughing. He was great. One of one of well, not even laughing, but there seemed to be a very suspicious grin on their face. If you know, if you know what I mean, a very suspicious grin on their face. But what it got to me, and I went and said what I said, what I just said now. Plus, I also went and said. But do be careful. These are not the people you need to worry about. You need to worry about them getting into political power, but you also need to worry about the white supremacists that are not here. And they are your, again, I'm paraphrasing here, they're your doctors, your lawyers, your teachers, perhaps the person you're fucking, you know. Do be careful. And I let it be known that, you know what, you know, when I came to this country, I grew up in Potomac. Um, I was not 1%, even though I was around 1%. And I got to deal with those teachers that were white supremacists in 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 that one percent school. Okay, I got to deal with those types and kinds of mentality. That's how I'm able to spot it quite easily. I can see it coming a mile away. Do be careful of those types. They're the ones that you need to worry about. They're the ones that control the, the ones here. These are the people that more or less, apart from their leader, more or less think that they're powerless and that they need to be out here protesting on some emotional shit just like you all. The ones that aren't here, the ones that know full well where the power is and who has it, they're the ones you need to be worried about. And then I and then I ended off because he started trying to grab... Uh, interestingly enough, when I was saying all this stuff, black people were like, hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's right, mm-hmm, yup. I noticed the white people were quite silent, and a few of the Asians as well. Hmm. I didn't see too many Hispanics or Indians. I'm sure there were some of them there. But the whites and Asians were real quiet when I was talking. They 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 didn't have this grin on their face like, ha, 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 this is also pointless, but hey, we'll just sit here and protest with you. No, they were real quiet like, shut the fuck up, man. What the hell are you doing? And then, of course, I ended on the white supremacists in law enforcement. And for anybody that wanted to doubt me right then and there, I said, eh, as the FBI reports have confirmed, and I, I, I threw that one out there as well. And I, as I said, okay, 
your time is coming as well. And then that's when the guy, the, the guy whose megaphone that I had, some, some, some white guy with the beard and all that, older white guy, that's when he was like, okay, let me get the phone. Uh, uh, okay, let me get it back. How interesting it is that he let that gay black dude that was going off on an emotional, half crying, half, half, half yelling, screaming, like tangent. He he let him go off, but me, I sat there very quiet. I I didn't talk louder than I need to. Hell, I had a fucking megaphone. He 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 was he was real suspicious of what I had to say, and he wanted to get me off that thing real quick. How interesting that was. And then, of course, after that, I went back. Um, I got back. Uh, I I left the whole thing. Nothing was gonna happen. And I'll get to this in a second. Nothing was gonna happen. So I'm like, all right, there's there's nothing else here. Time for me to go. Went back to my car. Went about my day. Okay. Um, as I've said in the video numerous times, um, I knew nothing was gonna happen because I mean, like I said numerous times, this is not the South, even though technically it is. For all intents and purposes, it's not. Um, everything east of the Anacostia can get over here real quick. Um, shit, yeah. Out, those all right white supremacists were out. Not well. Let me not say white supremacists were outnumbered because there was no shortage of white supremacists on the side that I was standing on. Let's not play dumb here. But the alt right, the though that specific group. Of white supremacists, they were outnumbered like what? Shit, five hundred to one. <laughs> it was a large group of them there, but I think, the, if I'm not mistaken, the vast majority of them were reporters. As far as as far as as far as the actual people, I think it might have only been like about fifty, twenty to fifty of them, right? So they were vastly outnumbered. So it wasn't shit gonna happen. Okay, plus again, you have the gangs, uh, MS-13, Crips, Bloods, they're all here. And I think a couple other ones as well. And as I said before, every single rail, rail um, every single metro transit, um, um, uh, the rails, every single train line, mo well, not every single one, most of them start off in or end at the hood. I think all of them at some point travel through the hood at some point or other. Okay. <laughs> all right. So this was not the place. This was not the place. Um, this was not the place. Plus, these people were not armed. They, they. Um, I heard in one instance you could have a gun. If you, uh, you could have a gun if you had a permit. And another instance, even if you have a permit, you can't have guns. So they weren't even armed either. Shit. Nothing was going to happen. So I wasn't worried about that. I, I wasn't worried about that at all. But, in all, it's nice to see this thing got shut down. Plus, even nature went and shitted on them because it started raining. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that was interesting. Um, that, was, that, that was quite interesting. Even nature didn't want to have shit to do with this. <laughs> I found that quite interesting. Um... The only thing I didn't quite like, specifically me, myself, was the fact that when I was driving around, trying to get up a couple bucks, you know, there was this huge group of, 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 of counter-protest demonstrators, and they went and circled, they came, I forgot what street it was, but they came down, and they filled up the entire, both sides, both lanes, um, the up lane and the down lane, coming down. And they filled it so that nobody could go there, even though we, we legally could. It wasn't blocked off street, and they had a green light. And so I had to stop in the middle of the intersection while they sat there and, like, came around my car. Was going back, you know, uh, walking past me, you know. But like a stampede, like 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 you trying to get past a stampede or something. Like you're just standing still so they don't hit you. And then there was these two black kids who were like, man, 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 back up, man. You got to back up. Back your car, man. Back the fuck up. And I almost hit my car. I almost got out and, and, and took my knife and slashed them. Like, what the fuck are you idiots doing? I am legally on this road. I'm going here. I have a green light. You all need to get the fuck out of my way. One other black guy, he went, went and backed off some of them so that I could move over to the side. Even though I shouldn't have to do that. And then one other black guy went and checked in the car and saw me, and he's like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 you good. I guess he was trying to 
see like 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 whose side am I on or some shit. That, I don't know. That, I didn't appreciate that at all. But in all, this shows that white supremacy is kind of on its last leg. Um, I don't. I, I I predict within a decade. Well, no. Let me not say that because. Well, no, no. I guess I, I could say that. I suppose I could say that. Um, it it it's 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 on its last leg. At least the at least it being so overt with it. Uh, the white supremacy. That's the. How should I put this? The big, burly, strong man, the strong man, white supremacist, the muscle, the meathead from the gym, that kind of white, raw power, white supremacy, that's, that's leaving. I'm more concerned with the, not the bull white supremacist, but the snake white supremacist, the one that's weak, but it, 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 it slithers by undetected and, and, and by the time you realize what happened, it's long since gone and it's affected it. Those are the white supremacists that I think are now the ones you're going to have to deal with. The ones that are just so overt and coming, barreling down the line, some big, burly, barbarian. Those, you saw the last of them right there. That is a representation right there. Just them, 20 to 50 of them versus however many thousands. Okay. Those those are gone. But again, like I said earlier in the, um in this part, they're not the ones that I'm worried about. Because truth be told, if it came down to a hand to hand thing, I'm, I'm definitely not worried about those motherfuckers. I'll take on two, three, five, up to five of them at a time. That's not my problem. I am more worried about the snakes. I'm not worried about the bulls. I'm worried about the snakes. All right. So lastly, I'll end with this. Black people, um, don't get caught up with the other groups. They will get whatever the hell they want, whatever that may be, immigration or end of patriarchy or just all, anybody with a penis locked up while all the women get to rule the world or, 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 or end of the capitalist system, I guess that's the answer for people, whatever. whatever. Don't get caught up in them because, again, when they get what they want, and black people are still here. Like, hey, we didn't get what we want. It's like, oh, sorry, can't help you. No, no. Do not get caught up in them. The next thing is, don't get caught up in this whole thing that just happened in D.C. back on the 12th. All right? You got to ask yourselves, what game are they playing here? What did they get out of this? I mean, yes, on the surface, they look embarrassed. Only 20 to 50 of them or so showed up. Their numbers looked a lot more than, than what it was because of reporters. Okay, but what game are they playing here? As somebody who knows a little bit about chess, having been in and won in numerous tournaments and such, uh, and was actually a very active chess player back in my late teens and early, well, early teens to early 20s, right? Got to ask, what what moves are they playing here? These these look like pawns to me. These white supremacists that were out in DC, they look like pawns. Where is the rook? Where it or castle? Whatever the hell you want to call it, castle rook, whichever one you all like. Where are the bishops? Where are the knights? Where are they? We, we we protested pawns. Where are the rest of the pieces? Because we didn't capture them. Okay? No pieces have been captured just yet. So where the hell are the rest of their pieces? You know, that's that's what I'm looking at. And I'm 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 very wary of this whole thing. Um, we need to look at what moves they're making in politics. Uh, is was was this whole thing a smokescreen while they're trying to clean house in politics? You know, and again, just because Democrats might be getting a shitload of seats in a shitload of places does not mean white supremacy is gone, or is or is being or is being dismantled. It just means the bulls are losing more ground than they would like, but the snakes are gaining more ground. Okay. 
the Bulls are losing ground, the Snakes are gaining ground. And that's that's how I look. That's how I see it. Okay. So black people do be careful and don't 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 fall for the trap. Do not fall for the deception. Uh, the red herring. Do be careful of that. Okay. And that's it. That that is my little um, analysis of this whole thing. Uh, yeah. Be very careful out here. Later.